Than West, and we're going to continue the previous video that I just did about pantsing with Story Engine and use it, Luna the Dolphin, to explore the different models for prose writing that Pseudorite offers with Story Engine. And those three modes are fastest, a most accurate, and best prose. So without changing my beats, the best way to get a good comparison to find out which one that you like the best, I'm going to keep all the information we have the same from the last video. So my style is still first person point of view from Luna the Dolphin, contemporary middle grade fiction. And what we're going to do is we're going to compare side by side a couple of different um, variations of that chapter one. So we already have right here fastest. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to type in here fastest up at the top. Because once I start changing the mode, it's going to change it on all of the buttons and I won't remember which one is which. And then up at the top here, I'm just going to create another chapter one. You can create as many chapter ones as you want so that you can use this methodology actually to not only compare different models that you like, you could also use it to compare different beats that you like or different um, ideas that you want to explore about your story. So I'm going to click on this left hand uh, silo or the column here for the first chapter one. I'm going to click this copy button so I copy the exact same beats. Since we're trying to compare the different models, um, we don't want to be using different beats because that would change the experiment. So it has the exact same beats. And the only thing I'm going to change here is this drop down at the bottom. I'm going to choose most accurate. Now at the current time that I'm running this, I'm going to get it to start because most accurate is the slowest one. And I'm going to go ahead and click pause. So it's only going to run that first stride, which is beats one and two. Now, most accurate is very on the nose, <laughs> not to be a pun with the bottlenose dolphin, but any instructions you have in your beats, it's going to put that verbatim into the prose. Now this is helpful if you are one of those writers who really wants a specific amount of dialogue in there. Um, like you can actually put into your beats up at the top specific dialogue that you want to show uh, reflected into the prose. Um, and it's going to make sure that it follows those instructions very, very closely. As far as the writing ability, I think that the writing structure is better than the fastest. Um, however, it takes it a while. You'll notice I'm still talking and we're still writing. Um, and just to fix it while this is running, um, I'll, I'll fix the left hand side because I want to make sure that we can compare the word counts too. So looking at this writing, a lot of times the sun was sinking below the horizon, casting a golden glow on the Atlantic Ocean's gentle waves. A lot of AI tells us that it starts with the sun. Even if you ask it not to start with the sun, it likes to start with the sun. So, um, and again, that's what I mean by it's very on the nose. My name is Luna and I'm a young bottlenose dolphin who has always had a curious streak. I don't know that we would start with that. I think that's something that we would want to show. So I would probably cut a little bit of this and edit it. But you can see we have um, down here at the bottom, uh, this was the fastest. Let me go ahead and delete out stride three, four, because we did not run that. Oh, actually this ran five, six as well. Um, just so that we can compare apples to apples here. So fastest also writes shorter. It only wrote 310 words. Most accurate wrote 416 words. And we have more dialogue here. I think it's a better writing in terms of thinking I'm a dolphin. I paused listening for their familiar clicks and whistles, but all I could hear were the distant rumblings of the cruise ship. Panic set in as I realized I'd been carried away by a strong current. With my heart pounding, I swam frantically through the water, desperately trying to locate my pod. Mom, Dad, I cried out, where are you? So we really have this showing aspect here um, of the character. With the fastest model, we kind of got, hello, I call out, but there's no response. My echo calls, my calls echo back to me, and I feel even more lost. My mind races with questions. How will I ever find it my way back to the pod? Will they come looking for me? Now, depending on the kind of writer you are, you might like elements of both of these. Now, there's one other model to show, and that is the best prose. So for this one right here, I'm going to go ahead and click most accurate. Or I'm going to type in most accurate so that I can keep track of what, what was run and where. And again, we're just going to create another chapter. We're going to copy these beats and bring them over. And then down at the bottom, I'm going to change the model to best prose. And I'm going to click generate, and then I'm going to click pause so that we can pause it and we can compare compare them. A lot of authors find that best prose is the better writer or they feel that it sounds more authentic to maybe a human writing. I think it's a good cross in between fastest and best prose. Obviously it's very quick. We are already at 318 words. So it's about a hundred words shorter than most accurate. 
we'll go ahead and label this one too. And as for the style of the writing, the churning propellers of the massive cruise ship faded into the distance, leaving me alone in the vast blue ocean. You can see that that is a much stronger start than the sun was singing below the horizon, casting a golden glow on the Atlantic Ocean's gentle waves. So comparing our first lines, I would give that win to best prose. Just to be safe, let's look at the first line of uh, most of fastest. I can feel the current shifting beneath me, moving in a direction I don't recognize. Now, truthfully, that's actually not a bad start either. I think that that is even more mysterious um, than possibly what Best Prose has. Best Prose is more specific about this cruise ship that's going off. Um, and it really just kind of started in media res with the dolphin already lost, with Luna already lost. We have no idea what Luna's name is anywhere in this prose until the very end of the bottom. I was Luna, a dolphin of the sea. I would survive. Um, this is something that happens a lot of time when you're writing with AI, no matter what model you choose. It is going to have what's called bowitis, where it tries to wrap the scene up in that nice little tidy bow. You can very quickly delete that and click continue, and um, it'll continue from the from the previous paragraph there and stop trying to tie it up in a little bow. Um, so that's the difference between best prose, uh, most accurate, which is right here. Most accurate, we have a lot more dialogue. And then we also have this fastest. Now, obviously, if you would run all three of these, 320 plus 418, plus 320 is, well, 300, 600, 400. It's about a thousand words. Now, for me personally, I actually like to do this because what I do is I like to blend these models together and use elements from all of them. So I would use elements of all three of these to probably end up, plus adding more writing to it myself, and probably end up with about 600 to 800 words. And for that, I'm willing to spend about a thousand words in AI uh, if it means that I can have this really robust scene. So that is uh, best prose, most accurate, and um, fastest. And I think that all of the models have a good application. Another way to use fastest, by the way, um, a lot of authors like to use fastest because they like to rewrite everything that the AI writes. That's their personal preference for their creative process. Other authors prefer most accurate because they're heavy plotters and they really want to have those events and that sequence of events that they put into their beats really followed. And that's what most accurate is best at. And then finally, best prose. A lot of authors who are very concerned with characterization, they find that best prose kind of gets them into that character's head like they like. So those are the three models right now and good luck with writing with Story Engine.